Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we're talking a bunch of leaks, things relating to Season 3, the new map. Of course, there's been a lot of talk, so we've got even more for you today. Star Wars stuff, and as usual, some LTM, some, ra some just random leaks in between. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. If you could, touch that like button for me. I think we hit 15,000 on the last video, and our goal was 12.5. So again, set the bar a little bit lower so we feel good every time. Thanks for the support. No goal today, just... Just do it for me. Uh, so let's jump into it. Star Wars lightsaber update, of course. May the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day. Uh, and one thing that has come, of course, if you've been playing, is lightsabers. So lightsabers are back. They're going to be here until May 5th, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So get, uh, get your lightsaber battles in while you can. And then on top of that, I believe uh, all the Star Wars cosmetics have returned. And then there's a new uh, a traitor emote there as well. Yeah, Fortnite tweets that it's a new traitor emote. But I, uh, I'm pretty sure I have this emote already. Basically, everything Star Wars related is in the shop. But we don't seem to have any new cosmetics. Which is a little sad to me because I, uh, I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. I did, of course, get through the Clone Wars finale episode i won't spoil it but it was it was just uh, awesome man it was super awesome and there's just so much p potential for for new star wars skins that that the nerds like me would purchase right so uh hopefully they do more in the future but either way i, I like that they have at least brought some of the stuff back also keep in mind if you purchase star wars jedi fallen order the game you'll obtain the Imperial Stormtrooper skin in Fortnite. The skin is obtainable until uh, November, so a super long time. Uh, this is just kind of a reminder. You do have to buy it on the Epic Games Store, though. All right, and then you get this uh, free skin in Fortnite, and it transfers over. Uh, so that's all, all the Star Wars stuff. Uh, just a quick note, if you did watch that Clone Wars episode, what were your thoughts on not only the finale, but the entire uh, series? I, yeah, what a blast. I, I want to hear your thoughts on it as well. Moving on from Fire Monkey, in 12.5, a closed version of the Choppa exit door was added. There currently isn't any uh, any U maps that use the closed version, so don't expect it in 12.5, but expect something about it in a future update and some pictures showing the first one's current one in game, and then the other one is the one added in 12.5. And a side note, he kind of mentions here, or Fort Tory mentioned that this might be related to Operation Grotto LTM. This LTM is the one where the team infiltrates the other team's base, fighting to extract briefcases filled with top secret intel, sort of like capture the flag. So we knew about this game mode a long time ago, and now we have a name for it and some visuals that go with it. So this should be our next Operation game mode, next Spy Games game mode, and it, it, I'm sure it'll come out with 12.6 next week. And while we mention updates here, there's been no official announcement for 12.51. We do know that's going to be the update this week, and uh, but it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. Uh, usually, I would say tonight, but the last couple updates have been one day later than usual, so the Tuesday night rather than Monday night, technically Wednesday morning, uh, depending where you live. So uh, yeah, nothing confirmed, but maybe I'll update the pinned comment because Keep in mind, last 12.41 uh, was the Travis Scott update. So it was an update with a bunch of content in it, and uh, it wasn't just a small maintenance update. So if we get something announced, I'll have a video going up right away uh, talking about all the new stuff. So I think this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Why not? If you've made it this far, you might as well. You, you must enjoy these videos somewhat. And I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. And thanks for a record-breaking month with subscribers. Let's keep it going. Uh, I really appreciate it. Moving on, Lava Legends Pack is available now in New Zealand. This was nine hours ago. And it's releasing worldwide across the next 48 hours. So it is coming back. And it's, uh, I mean, it's one of, one of my favorites. All the Legends Packs uh, have some pretty cool... Uh, I think uh, color, co color schemes. Let's go with that. And they usually choose some good skins to do it with too. So this one's coming back. It's been a while and it should be out by the time you're watching this video or within again 24-ish hours of this video coming out. Fire Monkey giving us an update here on one of the side stories. It's the, uh, the Pipe Man. So Pipe Man's journey continues. Each update, Pipe Man has gone further and further away from his original position. Now he's chilling on the side of the map looking out at the water and uh <laughs> again this is like the the little rock family we had back in chapter one uh they like doing these little these little side stories it, it usually doesn't really have much relevance to the 
the main story. It's just kind of something fun and and uh, something to follow while all the other crazies going on in the in the Fortnite world. Which uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I love. It. We've discussed this a little bit, but it's the season three victory umbrella. So there's kind of two different theories based on leaks in the file. The first one is one of the leaks that came with that massive season three leak list that uh, a bunch of it we've already found out to be true. Uh, he, this guy said that the um, there's gonna be an umbrella next season that's extremely customizable, similar to the Maya uh, skin and, and how much uh, customizability uh, you can do with that skin. So that's one, uh, and then of course we think if that would, if that's going to exist, you would think it's going to be the victory umbrella for the season, uh, because usually all umbrellas except one or two have come from victory royale, your first victory of the season, right? It, it's I always rock them every season. I love they're just simple and uh, they're unique too. So that's one theory. The other theory relates to the Fortnite uh, Season 3 posters that were released in the files last update. And what I mean by that is all three of the posters you can see have this umbrella with uh, fire kind of lit on top, right? Um, so just uh, so someone kind of turned this into a concept and here it is for you from Bad Sad Boy Season 3 Victory Umbrella Concept No Sweat, right? And uh, because these posters have uh, appeared at the no sweat insurance buildings, I think that's why he calls it that. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, you can kind of look at these as separate theories or you could look at maybe fire is going to be one of the customizability options that comes with the season three leak list. But let me know your thoughts on that one. I think uh, I figured it was worth talking about. We hadn't really uh, dug deep into that part of the season three teaser posters. So I wanted to bring it up. I don't I, I think I'd rather it all be one right like the the fire custom is an option I think if we can have an extremely custom winning umbrella that'll be one of my favorite items of all time I got to be honest it, it's it's simple but then you can be uh, I just love using the umbrella anyways but then you can be super unique compared to everyone else using that same umbrella so I'm excited for that I'll, I'll update you once we know more and now let's talk about season three the first one here is weird and it's a super low key uh, leak. Not many people are talking about it because it's actually hard for it to happen. But it starts with FNBR news and leaks and he goes thoughts and it's two photos and it's these these random holes with water in it. These, so puddles, I guess, that have started to uh, appear across the uh, across the map. And you can see, so there, there's two of them, right? Those are in different spots. Yeah, they're in different spots. And there might be some more of them spread throughout as well. So, and again, remember, wa underwater is basically the theme. We know the map's going to be somewhat flooded, somewhat underwater. How much is it going to be underwater? We don't really know yet. But this seems to be, I mean, it, I guess it could be a glitch, but it seems a little bit too similar related to the leaks we have uh, to just be a glitch. But not everyone's seeing them in game but then he, he tweets again here this is how you can see the puddle in game turn your graphics to medium or above also i was the one who found this so pretty please at me when using my screenshots or gameplay so there you are i mean <laughs> link down below but yeah apparently to see these all you got to do is turn your graphics up a little bit and then go to some of the spots here that i've showed you uh, but yeah, I mean, to put your theories down below. Puddles, how's the flood actually going to happen? I love reading what you guys have to say about some of this stuff because you're a lot smarter than I am, of course. Uh, moving on to the last thing I've got here, and it's a, uh, it's a Reddit post. Uh, it's a concept, but it's a concept that has to do with uh, basically a visual for kind of like the umbrella for the season three leaks. And it's uh, he, this guy, Silent SFM. I made a quick little concept of what I think houses may look like on flooded parts of the map. Uh, and <laughs> I'll show you a video here. It won't have audio because it's from Reddit, but here it is.
And the first comment on this is, I admire your work, but I hate the concept. Basically saying, uh, well done, thanks for the visual, we appreciate it, but man, will this be weird, right? If it's as underwater as people are starting to think, I mean, it's going to change the entire meta of the game. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to go as negative as that first comment. But I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be that negative because I get it. It's so different. But uh, yeah, it'll be very different. And I'm just going to be open to it right now. Not really optimistic or, or pessimistic, just realistic. Right. See what happens. And I'll make my judgment when the when the season actually comes out. But we could be in for some big, meta, big meta, big mechanic changes. Uh, for season three, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Keeps it fresh, right? Keeps the gameplay fresh. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on anything I've asked you today. I know today was a big one. I appreciate the support on the videos. Make sure you touch that like button for me on your way out. Subscribe to the channel and code the camp and rusher is always a, uh, a good choice. Thanks for sticking around for the entire video. It helps a lot. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.